Shay, Shay, listen to me, brother. Yeah, I know Team Raw lost, but that's not my fault, you dig? Shay, Shay, you said you were gonna bring me to Raw. I did what you asked. Shay, listen, I'm the five-time champ. You can't leave me here on SmackDown. These suckers are gonna tear me apart. You dig? They're gonna tear me apart. Holla, holla, holla. Shay, I gotta go. Jump, Mr. Kennedy here, as if I needed an introduction, just calling to say that the word on the street is that Teddy Long made a match for us tonight on SmackDown. Look, I got no problem with you, but it seems like T. Lowe's doing you some sort of favor by putting you in the ring with a legend in the making like myself. I guess maybe he owes you a favor or something? Anyway, I know you're going to go out there and do your thing, and I'm going to go out there and do my thing. Just stay out of my way until the bell rings. Try not to embarrass yourself, and I'll try to go on easy on you after that. Ciao, fella. And the opponent, who has no chance whatsoever of victory here tonight, he hails from some inbred village of mentally deficient hicks, born to parents who happen to be first cousins. He perpetually struggles with personal hygiene. Oh, what's he doing? I love Mr. Kennedy's introductions. Kennedy! I don't think anyone's ever interrupted Mr. Kennedy quite like that before. But if you ask me, it's a long time coming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at Ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. Nice quick counter. dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. He could pin his opponent right here. Come on. That had to be free. I tell you, Taz, Ken Kennedy certainly has a high opinion of himself. You say that like it's a bad thing. Unlike you, this guy's proud of his accomplishments. You have them. I'm not saying that there is, Taz, but there's a time for talk and there's a time for action. Do you hear Mr. Kennedy talking right now? Of course, I sure don't. It looks to me like he's taking your advice. Not that he needed it. 
what a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. Who would surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in the WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it the day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend... Come on, ref! That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole, but it's not. It's not a disqualification. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly a textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you gotta be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your... Uh-oh! You know what's coming next, Cole! Tombstone pile driver! How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? Here's the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. Here's your winner. The Undertaker. Well, 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 look who's coming to the ring with Mark Henry, everyone's favorite loudmouth, Mr. Kennedy. You don't think this has anything to do with Mr. Kennedy's little, uh, what do you call it, altercation with Mark Henry's opponent last week, do you? I think it's got everything to do with that task. Kennedy's up to something, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what it is.
Hey, what's Kennedy doing? Look, he's grabbing a mic. Shh, shut up! Now making his way to the ring, the latest victim of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. A man who deserves everything he's about to get tonight. A superstar who, as it turns out, isn't much of a star at all. I give you what's his name? What's his name? Good evening to our fans from Vancouver, British Columbia. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Hey, eh, partner? <laughs> hey, Cole, it's pretty funny. You said, hey. You know, like the Canadian fans go, hey. You know, hey. What can I say, Taz? The enthusiasm of these Vancouver fans is contagious. I can't remember the last time I saw a crowd this pumped up for SmackDown action. Watch it. He reversed it. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champ in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. There's the reversal, Cole. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claimed to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in that. You gotta do... Oh, my! The submission hold is locked in! And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. I'll tell you what right now. I love watching Mark Henry get it done in the ring. There ain't another guy in that locker room who can pick apart an opponent like Mark Henry. You say that like it's a good thing, Taz. Personally, I wish Henry would focus more on winning matches and less on ending careers. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, boy. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? Man, I'm telling you, for my in ring, what a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. It won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have with serious injury. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They paid for their tickets after all. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, it looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A two-stone power drive. On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kinda took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your... He's got his opponent in the turnbuckle, and here comes the punches. This is very educated. 
education. He's teaching the crowd to count to ten. And by the looks of some of them, ha, they can use the help. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE. He's got his opponent trapped in the curveball, and here comes a couple sandwiches. And from the looks of things, they taste even worse than they look. don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy to stay right where I am. I'll never understand why, Mark, this could be three right here. One, two. That was like two and a half, Cole. of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man task. Surely you can't forget about them. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that if you know what I'm saying. Oh, by the way, let me ask you a question. You call me Shirley? Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This is... Watch out, young lady! Here it comes! The world's strongest slam! Talk about power! There's the cover! Can he do One, it? Two. Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost free. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, and here's the cover. One, two, three. Can you believe this? Mr. Kennedy's organizing a mugging of Mark Henry's opponent. What is Kennedy doing? He's calling for the timekeeper's bell. took his head off! That's my boy, you understand? You mess with Kennedy, you mess with me. Now do you see? Now do you see what happens when you disrespect me? Now do you realize that you are insignificant next to Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy! I hope you've recovered from Ken Kennedy's attack last week. I know you probably want a piece of Mr. Kennedy, but I'm not sending you out there without some backup because I don't want you to take any chances with your neck and throat injuries. So tonight, you and your partner are going to team up to take on Kennedy and Mark Henry in a tag team match. Go get them, player, and good luck. I have no earthly idea what a guy like Mark Henry sees in someone as obnoxious and arrogant as Mr. Kennedy, Taz. Clearly, Kennedy gets some muscle out of this partnership. What's in it for Mark Henry? Hey, hold on there, pinch face. 
Like him or not, you have to agree that Mr. Kennedy's one of the most charismatic and exciting superstars we got on SmackDown. You gotta figure, Mark Henry could have learned a little bit from a guy like him. Thanks, I can only hope. Kennedy's going for the mic. Shh, listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, take a good look at the two men making their way to the ring because this will be the last time you see them in one piece. One of them is obviously too stubborn to quit, and the other one is too stupid to mind his own business. Either way, they're about to get an education from Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy! A Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, is home to SmackDown tonight, and what a show we've got for you. Without a doubt, Cole, tonight's show is going to be off the chart. You know, it part the SmackDown superstars are ready for action, and I can't wait to get started. Paul, I'd ask for who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Kaz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. Mr. Kennedy's my kind of guy. He'll talk smack right to your face, and he can back it up with his body in that ring. He certainly isn't shy about sharing his opinions, that's for sure. But I, for one, could do without that enormous ego of his. That was a textbook reversal. He anticipated that move perfectly. She's turned to a fight. One second. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got him. He's tagging in his partner. Wow. Great reversal. Looks like he's bringing in his partner. He was one step ahead on that one. And there's the counter, Cole. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. Matt Hardy says that he will not die, and we're seeing that determination here tonight in this match. You know what? Maybe Matt Hardy should worry a little bit more about trying not to lose. Wow, look at that submission. I have never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner. And this might be enough to get the tap out right here. Well, I'll tell you this much. 
There ain't no doubt in my mind that Mark Henry really is the world's strongest man. The power of this guy is purely awesome. It's downright scary is what it is, Taz. We've seen Mark Henry tear apart Dude. superstar after superstar, and I hope we're not about to see more of the same here tonight. Everyone who gets in the ring with Mark Henry knows exactly what to expect. And if they look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, that 50 right. cents will get you a cup of coffee. He can talk all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's going to wish he spent more time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. Who do you expect, Paul? He's a WWE superstar for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. They're sure, eh, Paul? I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. The thing you gotta remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his... He tagged his partner! Mr. Kennedy, he's got it all. He's got the look, he's great on the stick, and he knows how to get it done in the ring. Yeah, and if you don't believe it, just ask him. He won't hesitate to tell you how great he is. Yeah, so? Which, he can get the pin right here. One, I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictable. This guy might not have enough to kick One, out. Two, three. Yo, Mark. Mark Henry, get back here. Mark Henry! Whoa, watch your back! He's giving Kennedy a taste of his own medicine. You like that, Kennedy, huh? Answer me. Oh, what's that? You can't? Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. This thing between him and Mr. Kennedy just keeps escalating. You're telling me, partner. And with less than two weeks to go before Armageddon, I think this is going to get worse before it gets better.
Hey, all right. Mr. Kennedy's here after all, Cole. But look at him. He looks to be uh, kind of in rough shape. I've got this, Ken. I'll do it. Give me the damn mic. Last week, I was the victim of an assault. Oh. Well, let me tell you, the man who did this is going to pay tonight. That's right. He's gonna pay. Mark Henry's gonna... Nobody does that to me. Nobody does that to... Mr. Mr. Henry! Look, you idiot! Just stand there and be quiet like the Neanderthal that you are. And when it's time for you to do something, I'll tell you. start yet and we already seen a superstar go through one and the opponent from death valley weighing in at 305 pounds the Undertaker! A sold-out crowd in Memphis, Tennessee is on its feet. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, all set for another exciting evening of SmackDown action. Hey, we're bigger than Elvis tonight, Cole. This crowd can't wait. That's a big claim to make, Taz. But you might just be right. Elvis is only one superstar, but SmackDown's got a whole lot to for him. I think that if... All right, time to see what kind of toys we got under the ring. Oh, man. I don't think that was ever meant to be used like that. Maybe not, Cole, but I'll tell you what. It seems to be doing a trick. Man, that's why foreign objects are superstars for best play. Well, I guess that depends on which end of the object you're on. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about that. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that, if you know what I'm saying. And by the way, let me ask you a question. You call me Shirley? Well, I'll tell you this much. There ain't no doubt in my mind that Mark Henry really is the world's strongest man. The power of this guy is purely awesome. It's downright scary is what it is, Taz. We've seen Mark Henry tear apart superstar after superstar, and I hope we're not about to see more of the same here tonight. Everyone who gets in the ring with Mark Henry knows exactly what to expect. And if they're dumb enough to do it, then that's their problem. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut the gap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Will excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have... My God! How is a human body supposed to withstand that kind of attack? Well, if you keep getting hit like that, you don't. Plain and simple. He's just brutalizing his opponent with that table. Well, I guess it's better than being put through a table, but not by much. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Paul. Well, thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast partner, right? You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be the king and queen on commentary. 
Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing it. But you gotta know when to call the day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe you can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has- You can find all sorts of weapons under that ring. What a shot! That sledgehammer will mess you up for good. And I can't imagine how anyone could come back from something like that. Oh no, the referee is down! What's going to happen now? Anything and everything, Cole. No ref means no rules. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. He's swinging for the fences with that sledgehammer. He's all about bringing a hammer down, and that proves it. Mark Henry is one of the most terrifying individuals to set foot in a WWE ring, and I think it's only a matter of time before he seriously injures someone. And that's supposed to be a bad thing? Come on, Mikey! How many times am I supposed to tell you this? This ain't ballet! No one's saying that it is, Taz, but Mark Henry takes everything from new heights of viciousness. Well, that's one of the perks of being the world's strongest man. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man has been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. This is gonna be big, one way or the other. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easy to see. Great reversal! Watch it, he reversed it! I don't use the word evil lightly. But that's all that comes to mind when I look at Mark Henry. If he's had enough, this could be it! This is it! The last ride! Oh, God! You can just feel the impact from here! Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you... Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not gonna hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Jeez, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why don't you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. I'll never understand why Mark Henry resorts to the brutal tactics he uses against his opponents. He's already the world's strongest man. What's he got left to prove? Well, I guess like most women, you're squeamish. Every time Mark Henry gets in the ring with someone, you gotta realize he's sending a message. A message.
message for the whole locker room. Well, if you ask me if victory is message enough, there's no need for the senseless brutality that Mark Henry seems to enjoy dishing out. Taz, I hate to see a superstar risk a serious injury like this. Man, it's a reversal, Paul. Hey, the Someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. Man, I almost feel bad for JR and King, Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. Love watching Mark Henry get it done in the ring. There ain't another guy in that locker room who can pick apart an opponent like Mark Henry. You say that like it's a good thing, Taz. Personally, I wish Henry would focus more on winning matches and less on ending careers. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy. Here's your winner, The Undertaker. What's up, player? Looks like we've got some crazy stuff going on here tonight. Listen, during your tables match, Ken Kennedy came into my office and told me that he wants you and Mark Henry this Sunday at Armageddon. Now, that sounds like a money match to me, player. And I'm sure your feelings won't be hurt if you get another chance to put your hands on him. So I'm gonna make it happen. You feel me? I'll, uh...
The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 380 pounds, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. From Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker! Superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're going to win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. This has been a great match so far, and I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Nice quick counter. Talk smack right to your face, and he can back it up with his body in that ring. He certainly isn't shy about sharing his opinions, that's for sure. But I, for one, could do without an enormous ego of his. Talk about adding insult to injury, and these fans love it. Yeah, well, you know what? He better worry more about the injury and less about the insult until his match is over. I'll tell you what right now, I love watching Mark Henry get it done in the ring. There ain't another guy in that locker room who can pick apart an opponent like Mark Henry. You say that like it's a good thing, Taz. Personally, I wish Henry was more on winning matches and less on ending careers. He's got him covered. One, two. Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost three. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. The thing you 
you got to remember about the Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the Dead Man task. Surely you can't forget about them. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that, if you know what I'm saying. And by the way, let me ask you a question. You know me, Shirley? There are a lot of superstars in the back who'd like to shut Ken Kennedy's mouth once and for all. I ain't disagreeing with you, but there's a huge difference between wanting... Oh, my! There's the submission hole! He's in the driver's seat now! No doubt, Cole. If your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. Mark Henry is one of the most terrifying individuals to set foot in a WWE ring. And I think it's only a matter of time before he seriously injures someone. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone power drive. I love hearing the cup. He can get the pin right here. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that will change if you watch this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing it. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a man. This crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Schwartz? He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. Oh, man. These fans are fired up now. They sure are. He could pin his opponent right here. Here's your winner, The Undertaker!